Hello, hello, folks. This is founder Lerone, and I am here in the confines of my fine home um, today. And at this moment, I want to show you a couple things that are very cool about the new interface that SmiteWorks has just pushed out recently. Um, by no means is this very comprehensive, but this will give you some things to look forward to when you do finally crack open the um, new interface. So there's a lot of cool things happening here. Um, it looks like what they've done is they removed the interface um, up here on the top of the library, and now it is a separate sidebar, and you get to that from the options now. Uh, message of the day is now included. If you want to use that for your campaigns, so it's now built in. Um, it looks like they've added a couple different things um, to accommodate the new interface. Uh, so really cool. Um, I'm really happy when I opened up the library, it, it opened up really fast. So it didn't take it, you know, 30 seconds to, to go through the rule set. And we also have more filters um, to use. So that's really cool. But if you want to change the banners on the right hand side, you go to options. And then there is a place here called sidebar. And when you do that, you can get this little pop-up that says sidebar, and you can click on all, which adds all the banners. You can clear it, so there's none. You can go to Game Master, Play View, or Create PC. So it's very similar to what they had before, except for this clear button is pretty cool. And then, of course, you have your individual buttons that you can add or take away. So that's really nice. Uh, message of the day pop-up used to be an extension, and now they've included that in the rules, uh, most of the rule set. So that's really cool. And um, I want to show you something with the load time on the library. Now, I'm not saying that this was going to be your experience, but before this update, I, it took me probably about 30 seconds or so to load my library. So I'm going to close all these for right now. Now, I don't have anything really loaded. Um, this is a pretty much a pretty clean slate. But if you go to library and you click on modules, it used to take it a few seconds or you know at least 20 to 30 seconds. Now when you do it, it's instantaneous. They've also add rule set filters, share filters, and load filters. So I think um, you can uh, basically filter out by rule set. So here's like one of eight. There's a generic rule set. There's a rule set filter and then rule set. So it just it gives you more ability to uh, filter out things. And of course, you can still search by name and author. Pretty sure that uh, Fantasy Grounds Fridays will go through all this more thoroughly, but I'm really excited about this. I couldn't wait to to show this to everybody. So this is a really good thing and a step in the right direction. I'm really proud and happy to be a part of this community and to see these kinds of changes. Um, a lot of these are going to be quality of life changes. Yes, so the buttons are a little bit small, but I think they uh, clean up the desktop so that you don't have a big, huge uh, banner or bar over here. Obviously, if you make your own extensions that create um, themes, you're going to probably have to update your buttons on here and some of the things you have going on. But uh, for the most part, this is going to make it a lot easier for developers. So when they all have a standard to work to, uh, it really speeds that process up. So if you're working in different rule sets and all the banners are similarly sized, I think uh, that's, a, that's a good step in the right direction as far as efficiency and time goes. But I really like what I'm seeing here. Um, it, this is really good. So that's really all I really wanted to show. Um, you have your um, drop-down list here is a little different in your chat window. So you can assign your speaker here or filter it. And then you still have your languages. So that's cool. So instead of having the speaker down here underneath, it's now up here in the chat window. So that's really cool. So I like the... Uh, uh, inclusion and now they have this new dice thing so first set uh, first circle is to set the user color and then the other one the other button is for the die or for the uh, pointer type and for the color so you can go black or white now I'm sure that'll change in the future 
but for right now you could still toggle black or white. And then if you bring up the color wheel, if you're familiar with the uh, the map tools, this is similar to what you get. So right now I have these nice blue color dice. So now you have a little bit more flexibility on the color, it's a little easier. And then you can also change the opacity of the dice. So if you look down at the bottom, you can make them invisible, but it's not a good idea. But um, And then you have this color dropper in which you can probably use this to help you come up with a color die scheme. So as you can see, I color dropped the background, so it gives me that color die. So that's pretty cool. So you're able to toggle between the two different dice. And I remember brown was really hard to make, so uh, that this is a nice little addition. Um, the other thing is that uh, the streamlining of the, I guess, maybe the cache or the way they have it set in memory, um, it seems a little bit more responsive. I don't get as many hiccups or, or problems, um, meaning not really problems, but, you know, like hesitation. So it seems like they cleaned up the performance quite a bit, too. Um, and, it, you know, making all this stuff a little bit smaller and more compact also cuts down memory load. So that's definitely something they, they, they did effectively. So I'm going to go to modules, and uh, I'm going to look at uh, loading one of these and see how that looks. So I'm going to um, search. So this is the, uh, let's see, I search for player. Okay, players with an apostrophe S. So I'm going to load the player's handbook. And that's going to still take a little bit of time because it's a, it's got a lot of content. A lot quicker. And actually, that, that the, the load time on that was pretty fast. So... I think it reduced the load time by at least two thirds. So that's really good. Um, that was a little bit aggravating at times, but other than that, I mean, this is a really nice change for the community. I really like this. So this is pretty cool. I like what they've done. Um, hey, how's it going, uh, guys? Uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, this is a, just a preliminary look at the new update. Uh, if you missed any of it, it'll be in the VOD section. But basically, um, some of your settings have moved to the actual options menu, which makes sense. And if you want to change your banners on the right-hand side, it's in the options menu now. I uh, noticed that the selections are a little bit snappier. So when you open a window, it doesn't take you know 10 seconds now. It's probably reduced down to about a third. Um, and, you know, a lot of the other stuff is pretty much the same, but you have this message of the day now, it's built in. And you have your sidebar options, which used to be up on the top of the library, which this makes more sense to have it in the settings. So um, that's really cool. And you can individualize, you can clear all the bars on the right hand side, or you can just go into character creation mode and do that. So that's really cool. And then of course you can change color of your dice, um, but it's a little different now. So you can actually use the color wheel, um, but you can use the black and white toggle. And then you open this up and use this to adjust your dice color and then hit okay and that accepts the color change so that's that's pretty cool i like what they've done i'm looking forward to using this especially in my campaigns um i had to jump the gun and, and show this like right now because i'm so excited about it but uh i'm pretty sure rob and and uh fantasy grounds will cover this more in depth and they'll probably get some more um people on to, to talk about what they've done. But this is a, a good step in the right direction. This is kind of what I was hoping for a little bit of rework of the interface. It still has a classic look, but like I said, it's not as uh, invasive. And like I said, when you go to library and you click on modules, it doesn't take it 50,000 minutes to do this anymore. It's Now it's really snappy. And even the load time on something like the player's handbook has come down quite a bit. 
So I'm really happy about that. That's that was annoying to me a little. Um, every everything else looks great. It just you know you got these extra filters now, so you can do rule set filters. You have the rule set rule set filter generic. So if you have a, a uh, something that's generic to all rule sets, you can fin you can filter it. So I, I really like it. So this is great. Yeah, I see as I press this, it 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 changes the amount of content that's available. So when you toggle through here, it changes uh, the amount of content depending on what it's tagged as when it's being built in on the outside of Fantasy Ground. So this is pretty cool. So I can actually toggle. I can use the flip mats in uh, in here if it's tagged as a uh, universal module. That's really cool. Uh, let's see. So, yep, character sheets look pretty much the same. So they haven't changed a lot there, but I uh, imagine in the future that'll get better. But I just notice an overall snappiness to it, which I really like, because I don't see the hesitation. And that's that's a good sign. So that whatever they've done, they've optimized the uh, how the memory works. So that's a good thing. Um, so I would say overall, um, you probably got a... Uh, you know, a 40, 30 percent reduction on overhead for for whatever it was doing before. And that's a really, really good thing. It it makes things smoother, quicker, less frustrating. I know a lot of people had voiced their opinions about you know Fantasy Grounds Unity, but it's it's not done yet. It's it even though it's released to the public, there's still a lot of features and things that can be changed. And as they phase out the uh, classic content, they can get even fancier and and, and more robust and. You know, meanwhile, though, they have to keep a balance of, you know, what they're using and what it's, what's going on in the background in the engine. But, uh, yeah, this is really good. I'm really happy. Uh, I want to say thanks to SmiteWorks for doing this. This is great. Uh, and for all of you that support Fantasy Grounds College and Fantasy Grounds, I want to say good night to you and have fun and take a look at the new update. Um, if it breaks for you or it ruins something, make sure that you take a screenshot and get the logs over to um, SmiteWorks in the Fantasy Grounds forums in the House of Healing under the Unity section because they need to know this stuff. If it breaks, they, they'll get it fixed. So make sure you report any problems if you come across any, and I'm pretty sure they'll have those in the latest update. So take care, everyone. Have a good night. And uh, again, this is Founder Layrun, Fantasy Grounds College. Thanks for joining.